Take me down. Oh. oh, I'm a bog eyed. I am, I am bog eyed. Don't be daft, you're not peachy. Just stick a couple of slices of cucumber on them. I will sleep a wink. <laughs> yeah, I reckon you should have some toast ales. We don't want you keeling over at oh, Alter. I couldn't keep it down, Becky. I've got terrible collie balls. You, missus, are going to have the most brilliant day you've... Oh, you were up and round in there for fizz. Oh, sorry, my scan photo. Can't find it anywhere. When did you last have it? In the bar last night. Well, then why don't you go through and have a look I already have, Becky. It's not there. Can't you get a replacement? I don't know. Ailes, if you think your collies are wobbling now, you just better wait till later. Why? Because we have got the best, most excitingest, if there is such a word as that, surprise lined up for you and Royston. Well, actually, neither of us are great ones for surprises. Oh, stop fretting! It'll be brilliant! I know, should we tell her and put her out of her misery? No, we can't. Yes, we are. I'm going to tell her. You, Hales, are getting married. At World of Cider! Some sort of brewery? Terrible, Muriel! <laughs> Oh, honestly, you're a sales. What a beautiful dress. Oh, and your hair looks lovely. Yeah. <laughs> you look very, uh, uh, fetching. Oh, stop it, you'll have me going all big headed. <laughs> it's perfect. Oh. Mary, thank you so much once again for lending me your wedding dress. It really was the most incredible act of generosity. You're so lucky. I know. I know I am. And I'm sorry that things turn sour between us. That's me. I do that. I taint things. I make things go bad. Oh, don't be daft. Of course you don't. Well, maybe I should carry a big bell. You know, unclean, unclean. Maybe <laughs> <laughs> just a little one. Come on then now, love. We don't want to be late. You know, it's the most terrible poverty loneliness. The feeling of being unloved. Mother Teresa said that and she was right. You're a very rich woman, Hayley Cropper. You're a millionaire. Good luck. Sorry for Yeah, well, the last thing we want is her walking down aisle. It should have been me! <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah! It's going to be all right, though. Squiffy, I want to remember every single moment to this day. Well, well that's what the photos are. Yeah, I've already taken about 50 and we've not even started properly yet. Woo! <laughs> Do you remember me at first wedding? Fizz, oh, that K-Line, I could barely remember my own name. It were all excellent. It were two litres of cider and a bottle of champers, and that was just for breakfast. <laughs> yeah, my wedding wasn't exactly the height of romance either. <laughs> Grey walls, locked doors, prison guards all over the place. I call that man getting wet in prison. Oh, <laughs> I don't regret it though. Oh, that's because you married the right man. Before I met Roy, I thought a good man was like a unicorn. By air big on. <laughs> <laughs> Medical creature, you damn bit. Yeah, same here, same here. My man's fellas were an absolute nightmare. Mm. We're so lucky. It's love, isn't it? It's all that matters. You got that, you're well sorted. End of. Oh, I'm starving. Has anyone got anything to eat? There's a polo mint stuck to lining in my handbag. Feels like we've not moved for ages. Flipping countryside. There's a cow on line or something. I love pig. Oh, you'll stay put, lady. Bad luck for a bride to seek groom before actual doings. Mm. Oh. Oh. Chuffin' hell. Where the hell are we? Oh, this is a total disaster. You still got no signal, babe? No, oh. nothing! we are never going to get to bend you on time. This is oh. awful. Yes! 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 Yes!
sugar in faster. Please take the ring that you have chosen for Haley. And repeat after me. I give you this ring as a token of my love now and always. I give you this ring as a token of my love now and always. Haley. I give you this ring as a token of my love now and always. Roy and Haley, you have both made the declarations as prescribed by law and you have made a solemn and binding contract with each other in the presence of these witnesses. It now gives me the greatest pleasure to declare that you are husband and wife together. Congratulations. You may kiss the bride. Thank you. Um, I, I believe it, it is my duty as groom to thank the bridesmaids, Fizz and Becky. I doubt that two bridesmaids ha have ever, in the sweep of history, put such supreme and imaginative effort into transporting the bride to her marriage. <laughs> uh, first, may I say, you both look. Uh, well, uh, well, you, you look. You're still like look. a couple of navvies. <laughs> yeah, we smell like a couple of navvies and all. Hey, to stinky, <laughs> blotchy. <laughs> to stinky and blotchy. Stinky and blotchy. Stinky and blotchy. It is 11 years since we last registered to be married, and we were informed that we could not. We have remained still and the world has turned to meet us. My message to you, Haley, is this. The world can change its rules, its laws, and its opinions as frequently as it chooses, but I will remain standing beside you. That will not change. I know the bride doesn't normally, and I, and I wasn't going to, but uh, I had a little moment set on that daft contraption <laughs> with these two nearly bursting their lungs. <laughs> and I thought to myself, why did I make such a big fuss? We were happy before. Is it really so important to do this whole legal thing and make a big song and dance? I'd got so hung up on how we'd prove that we were, well, I don't know, like anybody else, just knowable, I suppose. What Becky and Fizz did for me today, and, and John and Chez, and, and all of you, and when all of you just cheered now when uh, they said that we were husband and wife at last, I thought, it's not normal, I feel today. It's lucky and special. I'm really spoiled, so thank you, thank you. Roy said. Pump wagon. Is that his pet name for it? Yeah, I might start